Hello and welcome back to Storytime with Mrs Townley. I am Mrs Townley and our story today is Teddy to the Rescue. He was going to Grandma's cottage down by the river bank when in the rushing white waters he saw a very large plank. Astonished he saw another and then he saw a door. Goodness gracious, thought Teddy, whatever else is in store? He hurried along the river bank, lashed by the wind and rain. But when he came to Grandma's cottage, he looked and looked in vain. All that stood of Grandma's cottage was the chimney built of stone and sitting under a tree nearby was Grandma all alone. Oh dear, oh dear, said Teddy amazed. Goodness gracious me! Don't worry Teddy, said Grandma. Come here and sit by me. Teddy and Grandma sat under the tree until the storm had passed. Gradually the dark clouds rolled by and the sun came out at last. Teddy surveyed the spot upon which Grandma's cottage had stood. He pondered on how to rebuild it and where to find the wood. The planks of wood had all been washed downstream by the raging flood. Now where Grandma's cottage had been, there was just a sea of mud. Just then, Teddy became aware of a chattering in the trees. Birds of the forest were talking, their voices carried on the breeze. They were telling all the woodland creatures of Grandma's sorry plight and how the torrential storm had blown down her cottage in the night. The robin who perched on the chimney chirruped to the crow in his nest. The crow called the news to old wise owl, who hooted it on to the rest. The deer in the forest pricked up their ears, and so did Larry the lamb. The message carried down river to the beavers building a dam. Then suddenly, through the forest, Teddy could see a troop of bears carrying hammers, shovels and ladders marching along in pairs. There was Carpenter Bear and Plumber Bear with all his bits and bobs and Jimbo, Bessie and Belle ready to help with all the odd jobs. Teddy and Grandma were delighted but what a task they now had. And although there were many willing helpers Grandma still felt sad. But out came the shovels and brushes and soon the sight was clear. Teddy, working with a shovel, suddenly let out a cheer. For coming up the river and pushing with all their might, where all the busy beavers, they made a wonderful sight. They had rescued all the timber that the storm had swept away. By damming up the river, the beavers had saved the day. <laughs> the beavers all pushed and the bears all pulled the timber up the bank. And Teddy was delighted as he pulled up the very last plank. Then the bears set to work with gusto, hammering and heaving with glee. Old wise grey owl, who had spread the news, watched, perched in his favourite tree. You see the owl? It's up in the tree. <laughs> <coughs> They banged and sawed and painted until it was just after three. 
Then Teddy hammered the very last nail, just in time for tea. Whilst the bears were tidying up, Grandma had started to bake, and soon she served them cups of tea with slices of hot plum cake. <laughs> the beavers washed Grandma's curtains, splashing and having great fun. Then Bessie and Belle put them up when they had dried in the sun. Now the cottage was spick and span, as clean and as bright as could be. Then just before they all went home, Grandma, bleh, Grandma made some more cake and tea. I think Grandma likes baking. The bears said good night to Grandma, standing at her cottage door. Then they marched to the village, happy as never before. The noises of the forest grew silent and soon it would be night. Grandma snuggled deep down in her bed and snuffed out her bedside light. Aloft in his tree perched old grey owl, watching over his forest domain. He had enjoyed seeing the bears that day, but was glad all was calm again. Oh. That was a lovely story about people helping each other, wasn't it? That was Teddy to the rescue. Thanks for listening. See you later. Bye.